Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're looking at Jamboard and their online web application. So let's dive into it. Now, a Jamboard is an incredibly powerful device, but many schools are either unable to purchase these devices or unwilling. Now, these Jamboards tie in with a web app and the web app is freely available to anyone within G Suite. Now, I've been playing around with it in my classroom and it's been incredibly powerful to use. Not only does it allow you to share different images and presentations as you would with a slideshow, but it also has some integrated functionality that is great for those interactive whiteboards in your classroom. So let's have a look at some of these features. First things first, where do we find Jamboard? Now Jamboard can be found in the apps launcher at the top, or you could simply type in jamboard.google.com. Now do keep in mind Jamboard is still very early days, but do start using Jamboard and give them your feedback. Now the first thing you'll see is that you can have multiple jams. And when you click on the big plus icon, you're going to create a new jam. So go ahead and do that right now. And then once you're in here, you'll notice that you have a single slide. However, at the top you have your slide selector. So you can click on that and then you can navigate from jam slide to jam slide. Now you can add slides in front, behind, or you could even click on those three dots. And when you click on the three dots, you can duplicate a slide or delete this slide. Now hopefully we'll start seeing some more features here, but in the meantime, this is what you have. Now, once you are on a slide, you can start using this. Now, there's a number of different things you can do. Now, the first thing is you have a pen. Now, when you click on that pen, you'll see there are different styluses available and different colors and thicknesses. And this allows you to draw and write onto the Jamboard. Now, because this is collaborative, if your students open it up on their laptops or iPads, they too will see you scribe onto this jam. You can all work together and work in a collaborative environment or you can collaborate between schools and classrooms. Now, the pen is not just the only feature here. I'd like to bring your attention now to the bottom where you have a pointer. Now, the pointer allows you to do similar things to the pen. However, it disappears. So you can circle words or you can highlight different areas of the jam slide. This pointer is often used to highlight a word or underline it because it appears onto a device for just a split second and then it disappears. Now the second and third tool are your eraser and your select tool. This is the same in most programs. So you can use this to erase the text you've written with your pen. And that brings us to the next one. And this is the post-it or note. Now this is unique to Jamboard and I use it all the time. Here's an example of one of my jams that you can see right now. And this is where we're using it to prompt the students. So we leave a goal, we have a materials list and then the students get started. Now this is great for when you're brainstorming or when you're working in groups. Now you can hear from what I'm saying, a lot of this is about collaborating and brainstorming. That's exactly what the Jamboard is about. And then the final feature is to insert an image. Now when you click on this, you'll see the standard three options. You can use the Google search, Google photos or your drive to get that image there. But you can also use the shortcuts to simply control V or paste your image into your jam. And these are the main features. Now, important for teachers, and especially when you're going to use this in your classroom, is that you can add backgrounds. Now, these backgrounds can be different types of paper, and this is great for when you're using it in meetings or during a lesson. Now the backgrounds can be found at the top and we're just going to click on backgrounds. Now as you can see we have a number of standard backgrounds here and then we can add these to our slide. Now you can have different backgrounds for different slides and don't forget that slide selector at the top allows you to rearrange your slides accordingly. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of Jamboard online and that you're going to go and check it out in person. Make sure that you subscribe to our channel or come and visit us at one of our upcoming summits. Now you can find all the information in that description down below and make sure to leave a comment while you're down there. I hope you found this helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.